the case of Mayan Burrell begins with the tragic death of 11-year-old Taisha Edwards. The young student was in her home studying when she was struck and killed by a stray bullet from a drive-by shooting. Four days later, the name Mayan Burrell made its debut in local news. The MPD was very proud of how quickly they made these arrests, even thanking the tips they had received that led them to Mayan. Despite a three-hour interrogation while being separated from his mom, a 16-year-old Mayan insisted that he had nothing to do with the murder, instead saying he was blocks away at Cup Foods when the incident took place. While a 16-year-old Mayan began his sentence in Stillwater Prison, then County Attorney Klobuchar used his case as an example of her strong commitment to the black community in one of her ads for her Senate run. When our little girl, Taisha, was murdered, Amy saw to it that those gang members were put away. Minnesota's police have also endorsed Amy Klobuchar. Trust their word. Well, Amy would win her election and move on to the U.S. Senate, and her old role as county attorney would go on to Mike Freeman. Mayan's conviction would be overturned four years later by the Minnesota Supreme Court over comments Mayan had made to investigators which were deemed inadmissible. However, the Minneapolis DA would try Mayan again, and this time a judge would find him guilty. Subsequent appeals over the next few years would fail, but in the heat of the 2020 Democratic primaries, the Associated Press would release a year-long investigation that cast serious doubts on both the investigation and conviction of Mayan. The report focused on the lack of witnesses, lack of evidence, and the failure to investigate Mayan's alibi. Following the release of the AP article, local civil rights groups held a press conference demanding that Senator Klobuchar end her presidential campaign. This renewed and immense pressure from the public led current Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman to release this video. Contrary to some reports, this was solid police investigation and prosecution. We believe the right man was convicted in this heinous crime. Now, news reports say there are two new people who have come forward 18 years later to say Burrell was with them at a grocery store not far from the shooting. Footage of the interrogation obtained by the AP clearly shows Mayan telling the detectives that he was at Cup Foods. Regardless, Amy Klobuchar would end her campaign shortly thereafter and throw her support behind current president-elect Joe Biden. That happened in March of this year. Two months later in May, the George Floyd uprising would begin in Minneapolis. Calls for police accountability and retroactive justice rang through the streets. It was while covering one of these protests at the governor's mansion that we actually heard from Mayan's father, who pleaded with the public to keep his son's name alive amid the discussions for justice. Those calls for retroactive justice were answered when Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison's office partnered with the Innocence Project to create a CRU, or a Conviction Review Unit. It was that pressure from the public that also led to an independent legal counsel forming to review the case. It was this counsel's findings that would prompt a pardon hearing for Mayon. On Tuesday, December 15, 2020, 18 years after he was first taken into custody, Mayon Burrell was released from the Stillwater Prison. The pardoning board, which features both Governor Walsh and Attorney General Keith Ellison, did not exonerate Mayan, but they did commute his sentence to 20 years, with the last two being served from home under supervision. Mike Freeman has continued to claim that he is sure Mayan was the killer, and the pardon board claimed they were not in position to declare Mayan innocent or guilty of the murder. The next step for Mayan Burrell seems to be employment training and turning the page on the incarcerated part of his story. But for the first time in 18 years, Mayan will be the author of the next chapter.